In recent months, an unusually high number of Cubans have left their island nation to reach the United States. Now, the spike in migration is already being compared to the wave of Central American migrants and refugees that arrived in the U.S. back in 2014. But are the two waves of migration the same? Not exactly. In sheer numbers, the total number of Cubans that have arrived in the U.S. in recent months is roughly a tenth of the nearly 500,000 Central American migrants that arrived in 2014. Cuban migrants also are given preferential treatment when they arrive in the U.S., unlike undocumented Hondurans, Guatemalans and Mexicans who are subject to deportation. On top of this, the reasons behind the migration of these two groups of people are different. While most Cuban migrants say they want to live in the U.S. to earn higher wages, many Central American migrants are fleeing conflict in countries like Honduras, which has one of the world's highest murder rates. Yet the two cases have largely been portrayed by the media and politicians as basically the same, something which they obviously are not.